just after blind video day. And it showed an acceleration of what can be done on the skateboard and what can be done on handrail. It was a crazy progression. What's up guys? My name is Levi and this is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding. We're trying out something new. It's called Nines. It's just a list of nine things. If it sucks, you can drive out to Cochrane, kick us in the nuts. But if it's awesome, like, subscribe, and comment below and tell us how amazing we are and how smart all of us are on the Shreds YouTube team. And also tell me how much you like my t-shirts. And then go fly a kite. This week, we're talking about the nine most iconic skateboard videos of all time. Some of you guys might have videos that didn't make the list. Here, let me tell you first. Let me be the first one to tell you. You're wrong and we are right. But if you disagree, tell us below in explicit language. Nines is a list of things. And right now, this one's in order. So the number one video of all time is the best. You guys don't get to have an opinion on that. It's just the best, and that's the facts. So stay till the end to find out what the most iconic video of all time is. Number nine, Plan B Questionable. This video came out just after Blind Video Days, and it showed an acceleration of what can be done on the skateboard and what can be done on handrails. It was a crazy progression. This is early on where they're setting the precedent that you should be spending a lot of time making and building a video part. Before, they used to build a video part in a day. In here, they're doing it for a year, maybe two years, and that sets the bar way higher because it's the best tricks, not just some tricks. It features huge names like Mike Carroll, Rodney Mullen, Rick Howard, Danny Way, and Pat Duffy, who forever changed the way that skaters looked at handrails. Number eight, Flip Sorry. If you wanna find out why that video is an icon, check out our video, 14 Things You Didn't Know About Flip Skateboards. Number seven, Dying to Live. Zero was a brand that was built on video parts. They took planning out a skateboard part to the next level. You got your really good at Smith grinds, then you took it to the biggest handrail you could find. You got really good at kickflips, you took it to the biggest set you could find, so on and so forth. The way they edit it was very quick editing, and they are one of the last brands to switch over to HD footage. S, Menic Maddie. This video blew up because of the level of skating that it had. At that time, S was known to have the virtually an all-star squad. You had guys like Eric Costin, you had Ardo Sari, Rick McCrank, Tom Penny, and you even had Bob Bernquist in there. The end was special because it wasn't the first, but it was one of the first to bring cinema and skateboarding together. They had acting and huge intros, special effects, and it's good to note that the whole video was filmed on 16 mil which is hundreds of dollars per minute just for the actual film for them to record the video. It included skaters like Tony Hawk, Bucky Lassick, Andrew Reynolds, Steve Barra, Baker 3. Baker 3 made it to this list because we believe the most well-rounded skateboarding video that you can kind of make. It shows the homies hanging out. It shows people skating and ripping and trying their best. It shows hijinks and security guards and all that kind of stuff all mixed into one, as well as the multiple different personalities that can exist on a team of skateboarding people that ride together. Girl, yeah, right. Yeah, right is kind of a cinematic masterpiece. Spike Jones comes in to make this film and he combines all the highest and best special effects from Hollywood mixed in with skateboarding's best riders and best skaters with the best style all mixed together in one video. Uh, uh, best, it's the best, best, best! Blind Video Days. This video was one of the very first street skateboarding videos ever made. And they set the bar for what other street videos needed to be like. It showed amazing skating, so many different locations, skating handrails, ledges, whatever. And it features iconic skaters, Guy Mariano, Jason Lee, and Mark Gonzalez. The number one most iconic skateboard video of all time is the Bones Brigade video show. We chose this as the number one skateboard video of all time because it is the marking point. It is the video that started it all. The change in the shift from what decided you to be pro before it was contests 
and how you did in that ranking. And it shifted it over to video parts, how you did in magazines, all that kind of stuff because of this one video. That's what decided how you became pro. It's good to know a lot of people think that the number one most iconic video of all time should be the search for animal chin. But we believe that that video wouldn't exist without the Bones Brigade video show and what it did for skateboarding as a whole. The video features Steve Caballero, Tony Hawk, Mike McGill, Lance Mountain, Rodney Mullen, and Stacy Peralta. Guys, that is our top nine. No, wait, no, wait. That is the top nine most iconic skateboard videos of all time. If you disagree or agree, let us know in the comments below. And listen, if you disagree, you are just a bunch of plain old dumb kooks. We are right. We define skateboarding. That's just how it is. Guys, this is the comment of the week. And oh my gosh, it's a spicy one. And guess what? It's from our main man, Rick Riorik. He says, Shred Shop would be the premier reason to emigrate to Canada. Rick Riorik, you are right. Shred Shop is the best. Let me tell you why it's the best. Because we're all kooks and we all push Mongo. So remember, grab your truck, buy your hand, walk around the mall, and come hang out with us. Also, Rick, we don't know where you're emigrating from, but you can stay in our change room, and we'll feed you poutine. Rick, you made it! Holy smokes! Ah, Kooks and losers, you guys are welcome. Mongo your way over here.